Hey guys, I'm Sean Cheek of WebPianoTeacher.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to play The Power of Love by Huey Lewis and the News. Remember Back to the Future, 1985? Great year. Let's do it. I'm going to switch the camera angle and then we'll take a listen. All right, we ready? One and two and go. Great song, right? <laughs> I'm changing the camera angle today because I'm the only one here in the studio, so no one can do it for me. So eh, I don't mind doing it. It's kind of weird, but <laughs> here we are. Um, you guys chose this, okay? I did the live stream YouTube today, and I asked for people to vote and put requests on the chat as we did it. And a lot of people put stuff in. I can't do them all, of course. But one person put Power of Love, and I was like, you know what? That feels right. I love the song, love the movie. So let's do that. Love Huey Lewis and the News. I'm going to teach you how to play it. Everything I played right then is in this little part right here. It's all right there. It just kind of repeats over and over. And I'm going to show you how to play it right now. I'm going to show you, you know, kind of more advanced way the way I just did it, and then an easier way in case you need it to be a little easier. All right, but we always do the part one here on YouTube, and then the rest of the lessons are on the website, webpianoteacher.com. If you are a member, you can download the sheet for this. And even if you're not a member, you can still join and watch all the part ones for free, which a lot of people do that, so that's a great deal. Now let me switch one more time. We'll get to the lesson. There's our money view, camera seven, and it's a little crooked. Let's get going here, and the monitor moves around. All right. So I've got a Kawaii MP11SE in the studio today. I'm using the Bank F, the, the number 8. It's called Octave Fat Saw, and that gives me a nice kind of, a, you know, an 80s synth brass kind of sound. You can't just use straight brass because it'll get really hard on the ears, but that sound really suits this. And this is what I would use if I were going to perform it at a gig or something. I'm going to switch to piano right now just because that's going to be easier to teach with. And I know a lot of you are just playing on pianos, so that'll work for all of us. All right, so we start. All right, I use letters on the whiteboard instead of music notation for those of us who just need a different way to learn. And it works for a lot of people. Um, a, C, F, A. I'll show you the easier way in a minute, but I'll show you the, the full way right here. A, C, F, A. And yeah, fingers one, two, four, five. And then I'm going to go to G, C, E, G with one, two, three, five. Okay? So it's one, two, go. Four, one. And there's a little bit of separation. Da, da. Don't try to connect it because these are just kind of, you know, brass sounds. Four, one, two, three. And then I'm going to come down to E, G, C, E. Now this is going to feel exactly the way the A, C, F, A f uh, felt in my hand. I'm just down here instead. Okay? Two and go. Four, one two, and three, and four, and I play that there. Now the left hand is the electric guitar. Do, 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 do. Okay, so that's going to be... Uh, we're going to start off with C, below middle C with an octave. Okay, and again, we're going to make this easier in a minute, but for right now, let's play octaves. One, two, three, then I go down to E. Now how, how I get that E is I'm playing this C right here. I can feel that my third finger is on the E already. And so I just use that as a marker to help me get there. See that little lot of thing, lot of, you know, people don't realize they can do that. And that's all you do. You feel the E with the third finger, and then you don't have to look at it. You just feel it. But E, 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 E. And those are kind of a staccato separated too. So it's one and two and go. Four, one and two. So you see how I moved this hand, this chord down and got it ready before it was time? Four, one, two. Use that time to get this chord ready. Four, one, two. Good. I'd like to know how you guys fare on this part one. Put some comments in the video and let me know how you're doing. If you have any certain problems, I might be able to, to help you. Just do a comment. All right. F, A, C, F, one, two, three, five. Now this one is really close. But it's going to be fingered differently. Say one, two, four, five on that one. One, two, three, five on F A C F. That's an F chord. This was a C chord. All right. So F F F G G G. Then we go to B B. So F G B. 
right hand does a B, D, F, A. If you isolate it, it sounds kind of weird, but if you go, it sounds just fine. But it's B, D, F, A, and it's a, a B half diminished seventh chord. Now, the reason I have this in small writing, C, E, G, C, is because the second time we go up higher, C, E, G, C, instead of doing the C chord here, like we did the first time we go up here, then the rest of, the, of it is the same, okay? When you repeat that repeat arrow, it tells us to go back. And it's a total of three times, okay? It's not four, it's three times. So one and two and go. Four, one. Repeat and I'll do the higher one. Time to repeat one more time. F, 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 G, G. The asterisk is there because that's where I'm going to stop. One, two, three, one, time. Bum. Ba, na, na, na. Right, we'll learn all of that on part two on the website. But this part one, you have to go really slow when you learn it. Right, and let me switch to the other sound one more time because <laughs> it's so fun. I have to play it an octave higher on this sound because of the way the, the sound is uh, plugged in. One and two and go. And there's the chorus comes in after that. So make sure you work on it very slowly, taking one thing at a time. And you don't have to go fast. Um, the big mistake a lot of people make is they try to go too fast too soon. Think of it like when you put out some concrete and you pour water in it and you get everything set. You have to give it time to set before you actually use you know, whatever you're going to use the, the concrete for. All right, You have to play this slow enough, long enough to let the concrete set, to get it under your fingers where the memory is stable. Because if you try to force it to go fast too early, it's like messing with that concrete. And then you can't go back, right? Because you... You, uh, you've learned it wrong or you've learned some bad habits or you're stopping you know, midway. and So uh, stay slow with it and have fun with it, guys. There's our part one. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you on the website.